Why Ask him why he stole my name. He, I ain't, how would come up with it? Come on now. <laughs> stole my hair, shoe size, <laughs> body type, and he stole my playing style. Ask him why he did that. I had a sense that Devin didn't understand uh, why I was the way I was. Uh, I didn't really care if he understood it. Some of the things I didn't understand, you know, growing up that my, my dad used to do to me was how hard he was on me and uh, his expectations for me. And he always was extra hard on me more than anybody. I never really understood, like, when we was kids, how come I didn't get as much good jobs as the other players in Little League? Well, one of the reasons why I didn't give you a lot of good jobs because I didn't, I didn't want you to thrive on good jobs. I didn't want you always looking for somebody to pat you on the back. I had played this game, been through this game, and I know the game is hard. It doesn't care about your feelings. I never really asked him that question because I didn't know what type of answer I was gonna get. So I just did all those things and didn't want to give you the pats on the backs and I just didn't think you needed it right then. And you still don't. Yeah. You still don't. I got a, a, a real honest answer and I got a, a real learning lesson and I'm, I'm so thankful that he did that to me. Devin, we went to Flanagan High School. I really wasn't looking to be the head coach and I ended up getting the job. I had won a Super Bowl, I had won the first national championship in, in uh, you know, Florida State history. So I was used to winning and being on uh, uh, winning teams. First day I met with a team and I got the job, I told them, I said, hey, look, we will go to the playoffs and we will win a state title. So we, we finally did it. All we talked about from sophomore year all the way up to senior year, it happened. We won, we did it first time in school history. I was just so thankful at that time that I got to have that journey with him and share that moment with him. I ran over to him and gave him a big hug and told him I love him and he the best coach I ever had, he the best dad. I just know when I saw him and he came up to me and, and hugged me, I couldn't contain it. And it was just, it was such a great moment that you could share that with your son. That was a good warm up right there. You gotta be strategic on the island. Chase, you staying alive? I'm just gonna stick by you so you can carry me, all right? My roommate is Shay Patterson, uh, the transfer from Ole Miss. Oh my gosh! It worked out that I needed a roommate. Yo, it's tough to like drink minis or do anything. Shay came here and uh, he was also looking for a roommate. I think it was kind of a perfect match in that sense. Too bad Nick Merckx isn't here. We totally carry him. <laughs> He's awesome. He's a clean guy. Uh, you'd think you'd think there'd be hair everywhere, uh, but there's not. Yo, Chase, come over here. All right, I'm coming. Cool thing about me and Chase. Never mind. He just finished me. We kind of don't talk about football at all. You know, just, just kind of get back and try to be as normal as we can. We play a lot of video games. That's a good dynamic. Yeah, we gotta go. 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 Oh, there's one right there. There's one right in front of you. Right oh you. my God! I did not see him. <laughs> You know, it's possibly, you know, my favorite or second favorite semester I've ever had. It's been a great situation so far. It's a good, it's a good effort. I'm get another one. Proud of you, bro. You battle hard. We got dismembered by the zombies there. Man. We did. I don't like the zombies. <laughs> Ever since I got here, he's been such a great friend, such a great teammate. When I was making my decision on where I was going to go, he was also in that rough point to where he was going to stay or go to the NFL or not. And, you know, we both, you know, kind of came to a decision if I was going to come, he was going to stay. I'm from Toledo and I grew up a Michigan fan. I followed Michigan football you know, all throughout my early days and teenage years. I remember coming to games when I was little with my dad. Coach Harbaugh gave me the opportunity to come here, and I've learned so much football since I've gotten here. I've learned so much from this coaching staff, so it's been a blessing. Patterson, he takes it out around left end, and he's rolling. He could go the distance, the 10, and shoved out of bounds at the five-yard line. Shea Patterson stuns the Badgers. Early on, uh, especially at the Notre Dame game, we were just kind of figuring out who we were collectively. And as the weeks go by, we gain more knowledge about us and really gain more confidence each and every single week. Patterson over the middle, caught! Wow! The way Shea's been playing has been awesome. 
Patterson. Widening up. He's got receiver. When he's out there, he is kind of like magic, just the stuff he does and things that he's capable of. He's so smooth and his brain is just wired to play quarterback. Having someone like that help lead our team uh, is a huge benefit to us and what we're trying to get done. Let's talk about the weather now because finally we're seeing a little bit of blue in the sky and some white clouds instead of gray. So we are going to hopefully have football starting at 1.15 today. And uh, again, it's a delay, but at least they didn't start the game and have to stop it. I'm starting to see some blue in the sky and I'm hoping that at the end of the day that the only blue that is being felt is by Michigan because they're walking out of their homecoming with an L. Ty Johnson deep for the Terrapins and the kickoff by Jake Moody. Returned by Johnson out to the 20, the 25, he's to the 30, one game to be a great block there. Goes down to the sideline, 30 sideline down to the 20, 10 yard line. He's in for the touchdown. Ty Johnson on the kickoff return. The Terrapins now lead Michigan 7-3 with a minute 10 remaining. Now the defense has got to come out with more energy, got to come out fired up. And you have to alert for Michigan taking shots here. Patterson looking to the middle of the field and it's complete for the touchdown into the end zone. In terms of offense now, you have to come back and answer. You have to generate some points. The Terps just have not been able to muster any offense whatsoever. Hill back to pass and he's going to be sacked. Blake Hudson pulls him down. Michigan is starting to get some momentum and these are the situations that the Terps do not want to be in. Patterson, Patterson being blitzed, being chased around the backfield, rolls to his left, finds the open man, Donovan Peoples Jones at the 20, the 15, the 10, gets by the tackler into the end zone for the Michigan touchdown. You gotta take your head off to Michigan. Things didn't start out too good for them, but since then, Michigan has maintained their composure. Hill, back to pass, floats it over the middle, it's intercepted. All the way to the end zone, Brandon Watson will score. Michigan win this afternoon over the Terrapins. He is athletic. He is a monster in the middle. He's very strong. He can cover. How about that? Bush making the play. Michigan defense is ranked number one. My role is, I feel like I'm the, I'm the glue. And I feel like I'm the guy that can talk to anybody in the field. Whatever I need to get done or whatever I feel like needs to be done, I'm that person to get it done. Devin Bush is saying, not on my watch. Devin Bush Jr. and I are tied at the hip. Been at it for 41 years. I've had Several players over my career that I thought extremely highly of, but this guy is special now. This guy plays with a chip on his shoulder every single day, and he can flat out fly. There isn't a linebacker in the country that runs like this guy from sideline to sideline. Get stuffed at the line. There's Devin Bush, the All-American. The level of pride that I have for my son is off the charts. Just watching him grow and watching him mature, I just don't hold back anymore. I don't hold back on a good job. If he did a good job, tell him he did a good job. Since I got to college and since I've been playing here, it's definitely been expressed more than what it was before. Uh, he told me often that he's proud of me. That he's proud of who I'm becoming, 
you know, what I'm doing on and off the field. So he's actually, you know, giving me that praise now. Good evening from Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor. This will be a full house prime time. Without question, this is a critical football game for the University of Michigan. Listen up. It's about time for us at the program. I'm starting to get disrespected. A quick start is vital for the Wolverines. Patterson, he takes it out around left end and he's rolling. He can go the distance, the 10, and shoves out of bounds at the five yard line. Shane Patterson stuns the Badgers. That will be Higdon carrying the football. Touchdown, Michigan. Talk about waking up a stadium and waking up a football team. Now let's see if it carries over to the defense. Jet sweep left has room. To the 10, to the 5, touchdown Wisconsin. Kendrick Cryer and the Badgers with a strong answer. We can see if the Michigan defense can put a little pressure on Alex Hornibrook. And he runs right into Devin Bush. Very stout defense. They have made life miserable for Alex Hornibrook. Tip and intercepted by Metellus. What a pleasant turnaround for the Michigan D. We cannot settle for a field goal attempt. Get this in our newly painted blue end zone. Looking for the ball. Gives it. No, he keeps it. He's going to go around right end of the five. Looking to go to the pylon. Dives. Did he get in? He right. did. Touchdown, Michigan. Shane Patterson. Touchdown run. Let's see if the Michigan defense can bring it. And I mean bring it. Hornybrook back to throw. One receiver route. Thrown in. Intercepted. Intercepted. And it could go the distance. And it will. The final from Ann Arbor, Michigan, 38, Wisconsin, 13. Before the season, I kind of, in my head and with family, I talked about if the season goes as anticipated, what round I would need to get in your pre-draft analysis and breakdown, and that quota was met kind of have this idea if I can go in this round, you know, whatever, uh, I'm going to take my shot. You know, I got the window of opportunity, let's go seize it. But just the way the season went, I just had more work to do. There was a lot of unfinished business. Going eight and five and losing on a bowl game just wasn't the way I wanted to go out. So I knew, like I said, with Shea coming back and, and just there was, I, I saw changes that could be made, you know, and improvements to be had. I said, I got more work to do. Let's come back and let's make this thing happen. Chase every single play. You know, if you watch him, if you really watch him, you can really tell that he never takes a play off. And his motor, his intensity, it's contagious. He's that guy, you know, he's that guy on the defense that gets everybody going. I think we're a more mature and developed team. We're not scared of anybody. This is a huge difference for us this year versus last year, where I felt like last year we were kind of just in the car. Basically, we were going along, we were feeling things out as we went. There was no, like, we need to win this game. You know, we have to, like, by any means necessary. This year, we're playing with a sense of desperation. Every time we're out there on the field, we know that we cannot lose. The revenge tour for Michigan continues. There was never spoken word of the revenge tour, but we knew people had to pay. In a way, we were bullied last year. And the way I took it was, you know, this year, you know, we got to come for our lunch money back plus interest. Week by week, from the offseason, from scratch, do everything we can to put ourselves in the best position. 
and uh, we're going to fight till the end. You saw it at Northwestern when we were down 17 nothing on the road, and you see what Northwestern's doing now. But once we got to Wisconsin, we knew last year we kind of fell apart. And our season kind of took a turn for the worse, so if we were to be the team that I expected us to be, we got to take care of teams like that. We did so against a tough Wisconsin team, and we did so against a tough Michigan State team, and obviously we're continuing to move forward. Incomplete once again, Chase Winovich with pressure. Coming back, the vision that I had to have this revenge on those teams that beat up on us and correct the wrongs and send this team on the right trajectory is exactly what I came to Michigan to do. I chose Michigan because of the opportunity that it allowed me to have. Coming from Sarasota and being able to come to a tremendous university like this, it's a no-brainer for me. It's not exactly RBU, though. It is now. <laughs> it is now. Dominated. Just as Higdon is in the ground game. Look at him go. Touchdown. He certainly has gotten better every year. You're just seeing, you know, the next step in his progression. That's kind of been the hallmark for him as a player is serious hunger because he's so hard on himself. He's really always focused on different ways he can improve his game. The biggest thing that's changed for me this year is the way I've attacked everything. Something as simple as taking care of your body. I've been in and out of the treatment room, making sure I'm rehabbing properly making sure I'm attacking practice each day like I am the best back in the country. Patterson to Higdon! Touchdown, Michigan! When I get the handoff, I'm really just looking at, you know, what's happening in front of me. And it's a quick process. I'm looking at the linebacker, okay, did he move over? Did the three technique loop out? What is the defense doing? And the first time I see a hole, I'm hitting it. You just see him every single time, just hit the hole and, I mean, excitement, that's all I could say. Every time you see him, it's just bam, bam, bam. It's just like uh, Marshawn Lynch almost. It's just like, he's, he's just a bruiser, man. He built himself into the type of back who's capable of doing that. He got stronger, he bulked up, he's carried the load, you know, upwards of 20 times a game this season in a way he hadn't quite done before. And Higdon breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Higdon is the first Michigan back to run for more than 1,000 yards since 2011. He has a chance to write himself into Michigan record books and really leave a legacy as one of the better backs that has played at this school, and obviously there have been a lot of good ones. To go to Hunt as a top 10 back at this university probably be one of the biggest accomplishments of my life. Higdon to the house at the big house, 67 yards a serious thing here. You know, I, I see how much they value their running backs and how hard it is to knock that top 10. So to say I've accomplished that would be heartfelt for me. I graduated in May this spring. Becoming a college graduate meant a lot to my family because I was a first generation college student. No one in my family has ever graduated um, from a four-year institution. I was the first to do it, so it's a tremendous accomplishment. Before Ann Arbor, I was living in Sarasota, Florida. We decided to move up here to make it a lot easier for him to uh, transition into college. And that was the sole reason, just to be a support system for him. My mom felt that would be best, be able to be here and be able to support me and make it to my games. They made the move and transition the same time I did, and it's meant everything to have my family here. My daughter is Kaya Hickton. Nope. She's three years old. She'll be four in two weeks. Nope. 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 I just saw some cavities in your mouth. <laughs> How many? Mouth. How many cavities do you have, Kaya? Coming home means everything. You know, I get to see her smile, run up to me, scream, Daddy, Daddy. You know, we'll talk about her day, talk about my day. Ooh. You're breasting. <laughs> <laughs> you breasting. You, you have cavities. Just enjoy time, kind of, you know, take my mind off of reality and just enjoy life as it is. Put your hand. Open them up. <laughs> He's very attentive to Kaya. He's loving. 
caring, just all around a great father. I thought you said you were going for the right team. I'm going for the right team. <laughs> they score, right? She means everything to me. She's the reason I do this. She's the reason I go as hard as I do. And she's my motivation each and every day. I think I've put thousands of hours in this stadium, in this facility. My favorite moment as a football player here at the University of Michigan was walking out this tunnel for the first time. Seeing 100,000 people screaming, yelling, lights everywhere. You don't know what's happening as an 18-year-old kid. Having that feeling is something that will stick with me forever. It hasn't hit me yet. It hasn't hit me yet that I'll be playing my final game. But I think the closer and closer it gets and the more it becomes a reality, I think the more it'll hit me. And finally, our two captains, parents of running back and 2018 offensive captain, Karan Higdon, Samantha Christian, and Karan Higdon Sr. It'll be emotional. It'll be emotional, but it'll be a happy moment. And I get one last chance to play in front of the fans here at the Michigan Stadium on that field and make a lasting impression. Michigan trails by two on first and goal from the Indiana two. They give it to Higdon. Higdon pounds over left tackle. He's in! Touchdown, Michigan! Michigan will win the football game. Last year, man, I didn't even realize it, dog. That's so weird, man. You're a hell of a, you're my idol, man. You're my idol. I'm so proud of you, bro. Love you, bro. Love you so much. Oh, we made it, bro. Yeah, yeah, we made it, man. Love you. Woo! <laughs> 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 Boy. Last game, last game. And you got a honey.